Hi, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be all of my most expensive products. Now, when I went into this, I thought, yes, I've definitely got quite a few expensive products, but they're not going to be as expensive as other YouTubers because obviously they get them in PR and they obviously have a lot more money than I do. So, like I was watching Shan XO, Shan XO and hers came up to like 1,000 New Zealand dollars or American dollars and I was like, I have no idea that much <laughs> but it is expensive stuff we've got um products from Marc Jacobs, Nars, Laura Mercier, MAC, Tarte, Anastasia Beverly Hills so it is the quite intense I have used my most luxurious as well as most expensive makeup um there's only one thing that is not expensive and that is the lip liner that I'm using it's from Primark which obviously it's not expensive it's like a pound but it's the only one that matches the lipstick that i'm going to use so that's the only thing so i'm not gonna incorporate this well i'm gonna incorporate it but i'm not gonna add it to the total so this is the look that i'm going well this is how obviously my base is this is there's nothing on my face so i'm starting from basic basic so yeah here we go so my first product is Primark, obviously, and I'm using the Marc Jacobs. It is called the Invisible Undercover Perfecting Primer, Coconut Face Primer. Now, yes, this is like the Too Faced one, and yes, they are around about the same price, but like I said at the beginning of the video, this is more luxe. I would say Marc Jacobs is a more luxurious brand than Too Faced, even though Too Faced are amazing they're a bit more um price pointed okay where this bark takes can, can be quite expensive so this is what i hate about this point this this goes everywhere so i'm just gonna massage it in I have started experimenting with using my um, stippling brush just to make it as clean as possible but honestly I think your fingers and your hands are the best because you can really um, just moisturise it, it's very nice and luxurious and I really want that. I think it makes my face very dewy, which I like because I like that it makes my face feel dewy, as in because it makes it look more healthier. I know everyone's on that like bandwagon of being matte, but that's obviously if you've got oily skin, you don't want more oil. But I think it looks nice, especially like it is winter, so it's very, very dry and harsh on your skin. So no, I really do like it. But yeah, obviously. You could just use the Too Faced, it's the same thing. Honestly, it is pretty much the same thing. And I don't actually know a drugstore dupe, so if anyone has a drugstore dupe, drugstore dupe for it, then let me know, write in the comments below. So, for foundation, I have three. I think I'm just gonna use these two because yeah i'm just gonna use these two so i'm gonna use the dior backstage foundation and i don't know i'm i got the shade 1c and i'm also gonna use the hourglass stick foundation now they are coming out with a liquid form so i'm actually quite intrigued to get it but i'm not sure yet because i've got so many foundations and i've got two that i need to review as well so yeah so I'm going to put these two on. I am just going to put this one on first because it is the most watery one. Actually, um, I'll put the stick foundation on first. That makes more sense. I have no fake tan on now. So, hence why I'm going in with two, um, like, not cooler undertones but more a lighter um color because normally i would mix one with one would be darker than the other no 
Now, I haven't used this for a while, so I can't remember how full coverage this is. But we'll see. If I remember rightly, it is full, it's, uh, full coverage, but very light. That's as I remember. We'll find out in a minute. Now, I'm going to use this because a lot of people are jumping back on the bound wagon. I'm going to try it, but... No, I'm not. I'm going to just do it as normal. So, I'm going to use my Morphe brush. It is the M439 and it is this brush here. I love this brush so much. I think it is amazing. I know it's not a drug. I know it's the drugstore brand. This The brushes are not included in this. I'm just going to include the Beauty Blender because that is £16 for a sponge. And I actually think I found a dupe for it, like a perfect dupe that I actually like more than I like this. So, I'm just going to blend For concealer, you probably guessed it, it is my Tarte Tape Shape. Now the reason why I chose this over other ones um, is because this is £28. Now for a concealer, this is very expensive because I think even... This is cheaper than this, I think, or than the same price. And you get far more product in this, you get... I don't even know how much product you get, but you only get... Six mil, six grams, a uh, six mil in this. Yeah, you only get six in this, and you probably get about ten in this. So, um, yeah, this is definitely very expensive for what it is, and very luxurious. I, I love the packaging still. Yes, I love Revolution. I think that has trumped this just because of the price point. And yeah, no, yeah, this is my luxurious concealer. I'm just gonna do normal. Under my eye, bridge of my nose, chin, and X on my forehead. And I'm going to use my Beauty Blender. I've had this for years, but I've never really used it because I actually don't know. I used to try and use it for foundation because that's what everyone else does. I think it makes my foundation so sheer. I don't honestly know how people do it. And like, I really don't understand how they get such like i was watching jacqueline hills um her drugstore like first impression sort of thing and i really don't know how she does it like it just unless she puts so much on but even then she's not so i must be doing something wrong but i think it's okay for concealer i think it's just right for concealer but not foundation definitely not foundation because you want that full coverage. There we go. Now, for powder. For powder, I'm using the Laura Mercier Loose Powder in Translucent. This is what it looks like here. And I've had so many different opinions on this. So, like, not so far, just recently. It used to be, like, the go-to powder. And now... I don't think it is anymore. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use my beauty blender again. I think the reason why it was a go-to was because at the time it was the best, but because so many other product brands sorry are coming out, like I really like the Kat Von D one, I really love the Too Faced one. I don't think they were around when this came out. So this is probably why it has been dethroned, but I still think it's a really nice product. I think you just need to know how to use it. I think, um, I think you just need to know how to use it. I don't use it all over my face. I just use it in the key points where I want things to stay, like my forehead. Basically, wherever I've concealed, I like to, Now that's that done, now I'm going to go in with my brows and I'm going to go in with the Benefit Brow Precisely My Brow. Um, the reason why I didn't go with my Anastasia one is because it's quite dried up, so I'm not confident with it at the moment. I really have to work with it, whereas this I know works and I know. This is just because I prefer the Morphe one now because it is only £9, this is like £16.50, so I do tend to go towards that one more because... 
I can repurchase it very quickly and I can get the whole set for only £20 and use a discount code which makes it a game team so still so that's why I saw it I go towards my Morphe one now but I am actually going to use this so yeah so that is my brows done I feel very um proud of my brows I think they look quite nice for me I am actually quite bad at brows so I'm actually going to go in with my eyes next because I like to finish off of my the finishing off my base. So my luxurious brand of eyeshadow palette is the Soft Glam Anastasia Beverly Hill Anastasia. As we know, this is like forty. I think this went up. I think they're originally like forty three pound, but one of them was forty six. I know that that might be the sultry one. I think, but this was forty three pound. Very expensive for what it is. Um, it is an amazing thing. I feel like it's very luxurious as well. So this is why I've used this and it's quite neutral as well. So you could just, she did have brides in mind, which I think is amazing because it is a very bridal, I could see a, I could see a bride using this, that's all I'm saying. But yeah, no, I really do like it. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go in. Um, I'm gonna go in with my Soft Oak Pro Longwear, Pro Longwear Paint Pop and i have not used this in a while because i've used concealer and i actually did conceal my eyes a little bit but so the brush i'm going to get in with is my morphe rose gold 39 brush and it just looks like this um i am gonna go in with I'm actually going to go in with orange soda first, this shade here, because I don't actually know what kind of look I'm going for. I don't even know if I want to put a glitter on there, but I think I will just because it is um, high end. So I want it to make it look like luxurious. A mixture of burnt orange and no, yeah, burnt orange and Celine Selena. I think it's called these two here because that's too light and that's too dark. So I thought if I mix it, it might just be perfect. Right, now I'm going to go in with that temp, temp, this one here, the lightest shade there, because I just want to sort of make it more neat on the inner corner before I put any um, shimmer on it. I am going to put shimmer because it's a luxurious, like a high-end makeup tutorial, so... Now I'm going to go in with this brush, it is from Morphe again and it's just a nice flat brush and I'm going to go in with that MAC uh, Soft Oak Pro, Le Pro, Le 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 Pro Longwear um, Paint Pot just to carve up my, um, just to have something for it, the um, shimmer slash glitter to stick on because I do not have glitter glue. Actually, I just use my fingers because I know it will work. Um... I'm actually going to go in with rose pink because I've not used that since the first time I've tried it. So I'm just going to go with rose pink and use my ring finger. Now, 
Now for just a little bit of something something, just to make it look a bit more glam, shall we say. I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of glistening and it is like a nice, it's like an olive undertone. I just wanted a little bit of something something for the inner corner so yeah i just used that and i just used the brush that i used the um pro long wear um paint pot so i had like a little bit of stickiness to it without actually putting any stickiness on my actual lid anymore because i can find it sometimes it does get creasy it's not something something i'm just gonna go with burnt orange for my lower lash line just so there's something there So that is my eyeshadow for mascara i don't think this will come as a surprise i am going to be using my nars climax mascara because um i would say my more luxurious one is the new one that i got from too faced that better than sex and diamonds mascara but this is more expensive by a pound and it is my most expensive so i have gone with this so I'm just going to do my trick that I do with um, my Too Faced one as well. I always find you get too much product, which can which does make it clumpy. So I just take the excess off and that's it. And then that's it for the whole of the um, two eyes. You don't need to put any more on. So there you go. I think it just gives a nice look. It does... It is a nice and natural look, which I love. And plus, when you're double dipping, you're adding air into it, which dries it out more. So that little technique, yes, it does seem like you're just wasting products. But in the long run, you're not, in my opinion. You don't have to do this. It's just a little trick that I've picked up throughout the years. I actually got it from Wayne Goss, I think his name is. That's what he did like years ago, and I do it now. With, but I only do do it with like the more um ones that pick it up, like a bushier brush. So this is just for I only use it for the climax, and I also only use it for the Too Faced Better Than Sex ones. They're the only two that I use it for because the other ones are more quite thin mascaras I have, so I don't use it for them. Don't need to. So. We're going back to the face and we're going back into bronzer. Now, I love this bronzer so much. I don't know whether it's just for the packaging or just for this, but it is my Marc Jacobs and it is my fantastic one. And it looks like this and it's like £35, but it is beautiful. So yeah, and I just love it so much. So I'm gonna use my uh, Morphe and Jaclyn Hill bronzing brush is the jhb2 and i'm actually gonna try and use a bit more bronzer than i normally do because i look so pale when i'm editing videos so bronzed now for blush i'm going to use for my blush i am going to use my nars orgasm highlight um highlighter blusher it looks like this now when i first got it i was like oh my god that is way too bright but a little bit goes a long way and i'm just going to use my highlighting brush by morphe and just dab a little bit on if it can pick up 
No, it's not. Now, for highlighter, I'm going to be using my NARS and it is the Forch de France. Now, I got this off of the recommendation of um, Jen Jamie Genevieve, and I must say it is nice, but it's not as nice as I thought it was going to be. But it is nice, it's not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. You have to really pack it on. Now, lips. Uh, lip liner I have explained, I am using the, um, it's just the Primark one in Scarlet, but I don't know if they still do it because I know they change their stuff a lot. So I don't know if they still do it. And I'm sorry if they don't. <laughs> These are beautiful, they're so creamy and so buttery and I really do like them. For a pound you really cannot go wrong. Now for my lipstick. Now all the lipsticks that I own are very similar in price but this is by far my most luxurious. I find the packaging so lovely. So it is my Too Faced but it is the one he's with me and it is that lovely red shade and it smells beautiful. Oh, it just smells lovely, so. So that is my finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it's just like a little experiment for us very small creators um i just wanted to see what i could do with like the best of the best products i have um some of them you don't even need to get them i would say there's drugstores that are ones that are more better but yeah it was just a little experiment but i hope you like the video my hair is just blow dried it's not straightened so that's why it's looking a bit i don't know i'm trying to make it look voluminous but it's not working sorry anyway um i hope you like this video and i will see you in my next one have a lovely day and i'm so excited we're out the super bowl now i am an eagles fan just to let you know and we're out the new orleans beat us and very sad but i will see you in my next video